Learning medicine is hard work. Osmosis makes it easy. It takes your lectures and notes to create a personalized study plan with exclusive videos, practice questions, and flashcards, and so much more. Try it free today. Human herpes virus 8, or HHV8, also called Kaposi's sarcoma-associated herpes virus, or KSHV, belongs to the family of human gamma herpes viruses. HHV8 is one of the seven known oncoviruses, meaning viruses that cause cancer in people. Specifically, HHV8 causes Kaposi's sarcoma, a type of cancer usually seen in individuals with AIDS. Human herpes virus 8 is a large, double-stranded linear DNA virus surrounded by an icosahedral capsid, which is a spherical protein shell made up of 20 equilateral triangular faces. The capsid is covered by a protein layer called the tegument, and finally enclosed in an envelope which is a lipid membrane that contains viral glycoproteins and is acquired from the nuclear membrane of host cells. HHV-8 is transmitted through sexual contact, and once in the body, it uses the viral glycoproteins on its envelope to enter a wide variety of cells, such as B cells, endothelial cells, macrophages, and epithelial cells. Now, the virus life cycle has two phases, a latent phase and a lytic phase. In the latent phase, the virus just hangs out in the cell without destroying it and expresses the viral latency-associated nuclear antigen, or LANA1. This may sound harmless, but LANA1 inhibits P53, a tumor suppressor protein that prevents cancer formation. So when LANA1 inhibits P53, that prevents apoptosis and leads to uncontrolled cellular proliferation. In the lytic phase, the virus starts to replicate, so its DNA gets transcribed and translated by cellular enzymes in order to form viral proteins, which are packaged into new viruses. When the virus enters into the lytic phase, thousands of virus particles can be made from a single cell, which can destroy the cell and subsequently infect neighboring cells. Now, the body's immune system reacts to the infection by mounting a humoral response, where the B cells create antibodies to fight off the virus, and a cellular response, in which cytotoxic T cells work to kill the infected cells, limiting their ability to spread to other tissues. So, in people with a healthy immune system, infection rarely occurs. However, people who are immunocompromised, such as people with AIDS, people who have undergone an organ transplant, or people who take immunosuppressive medications, are at risk for developing the disease. Specifically, HHV-8 causes a disease called Kaposi's sarcoma, which is classified into four types depending on the clinical circumstances in which it develops. Classic, endemic, epidemic, and immunosuppression therapy related. So classic Kaposi sarcoma usually affects older males, it's slow growing, and it usually affects the legs. Endemic Kaposi sarcoma occurs in young adult males who live in Africa and can be more aggressive. Epidemic Kaposi sarcoma is associated with AIDS and can affect many body parts such as skin, mouth, GI tract, or lungs. Finally, immunosuppression therapy-related Kaposi sarcoma affects the skin, and it usually develops following organ transplantation. Now, regardless of type, Kaposi sarcoma is an endothelial cell neoplasm, so it causes vascular proliferation, resulting in dark or violaceous plaques. These lesions are typically found on the skin, especially on the lower limbs, back, face, and genitalia, but they can also affect the mouth, GI tract, and lungs. Lesions in the mouth are usually found on the hard palate and gums, and they can be easily damaged by chewing, so they can bleed or get infected. Involvement of the GI tract can be asymptomatic, or it can cause weight loss, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bleeding, malabsorption, or intestinal obstruction. When the lungs are involved, that can cause shortness of breath, chest pain, cough, and hemoptysis, which means coughing up blood. Diagnosis of Kaposi sarcoma requires a biopsy of the lesions. Microscopic examination can show tumor cells with a characteristic abnormal elongated shape called spindle cells. And immunohistochemical staining of biopsy specimens can detect the presence of LANA1 within the spindle cells and confirming the diagnosis. Finally, viral DNA can be identified with PCR. 
Treatment is mainly aimed to stop the progression of Kaposi's sarcoma as the disease is not curable. So when it occurs in individuals with immunodeficiency, treating the cause of the immune system dysfunction can slow or stop the progression of KS. For example, in HIV-infected individuals, treatment is done using highly active antiretroviral therapy, or HART, which leads to HIV suppression that may shrink Kaposi's sarcoma lesions. In all types of KS, skin lesions can be treated with local measures such as radiation therapy or cryosurgery, and in cases of widespread disease with involvement of internal organs, chemotherapy can be used with anthracyclines such as doxorubicin, donorubicin, thalidomide, or paclitaxel. All right, as a quick recap, human herpes virus 8 is a double-stranded DNA virus which causes a type of cancer that most commonly occurs in AIDS patients called Kaposi's sarcoma. HHV8 expresses a viral antigen called LANA1, which prevents apoptosis and facilitates uncontrolled cellular proliferation. Kaposi's sarcoma affects most commonly the skin, but it can also affect mouth, GI tract, and lungs. Diagnosis is made with biopsy of lesions and microscopic examination, which can detect spindle cells, and also with immunohistochemical staining, which detect the presence of LANA1. Treatment in HIV-infected individuals is done with highly active antiretroviral therapy, or HART, and treatment of widespread disease is done using chemotherapy. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in a deeper dive on this topic, take a look at osmosis.org where we have flashcards, questions, and other awesome tools to help you learn medicine.